We all know how challenging it can be to get our rabbits to truly trust us. After all, they are a prey species and instinctively should fear us. It is not until they become habituated and used to our presence that a rabbit can truly learn to trust us. It is also extremely rewarding once an animal that should run away from you learns to trust you completely. I don't think there's a better feeling than knowing you've earned your bunny's trust. I have a few videos giving tips on how to increase the bond you have with your rabbit, but today I thought I'd talk about how the domestic process has changed rabbits and why it can sometimes be challenging to form a bond with them. First, I'm going to read you a passage from my dissertation, describing exactly how rabbits were domesticated in the UK and what physical changes they went through. I spent years compiling research on rabbits for this study, and it is one I am truly proud of. If you are interested in reading it, let me know in the comments, and I will put it on the Captain Jasper website for everyone to read. And I'll link it in the description below. Before we continue, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Humans only started domesticating rabbits around 2000 years ago. It is believed the Romans first brought over rabbits to the UK as a source of food. However, it can be noted that the rabbit did not become a fully established wild population in the UK until after the Norman Conquest. The dispersal of rabbits into the UK was thought to happen when people would set their stock free to hunt or feral rabbits would escape from captivity. Many escaped captive rabbits would regularly survive and establish populations in the wild. Suggesting wild populations in the UK originated from captive rabbits. It has been documented that over two generations of domestic breeding, wild rabbits become tamer. The reverse can also be seen in domestic rabbits reverting to have a more wild characteristics when they escape back into the wild. When domestication occurs, many physiological and psychological effects can be noted, such as they become less apprehensive of humans. They have an increased weight, sometimes weighing over five times the natural weight of wild rabbits. A reduction in brain mass. Smaller eyes and heart. A reduced amygdala, which is responsible for fear responses in the brain. In turn, they are less fearful. An enhancement of the prefrontal cortex meaning they have more room for personality, problem solving, reasoning, among so many other things. Domesticated rabbits and their wild ancestors still share a lot in common and actively exhibit similar behavior patterns, such as digging, chinning, chewing, thumping and darting. However, domesticated rabbits are much less apprehensive. This is thought to be down to the amygdala within the limbic system of the brain becoming smaller. The amygdala is responsible for the perception of emotions such as anger, fear and sadness. These physiological changes may have occurred as predation is low within a captive environment and not much space is needed within the brain to process fear responses. Domesticated rabbits still experience the same innate behavioural drives as their wild counterparts, but often are unable to express behaviours naturally, making enrichment that helps domestic rabbits mimic natural behaviours essential. Although the domestication process has proven to make rabbits less fearful, knowing rabbits were only really domesticated 2,000 years ago or so, it is no surprise it takes them longer to trust us compared to dogs that have been alongside humans for over 15,000 years. Along with dogs being a predator and the long history we share, it is no surprise a prey animal that has only been alongside us for 2,000 years. And with many of those years they were used for meat and fur, it is understandable if it takes a rabbit a little longer to bond and trust us compared to animals that aren't prey and that have been domesticated alongside us for thousands of more years. I personally feel rabbits have a long way to go in the domestication process, and now we use them less and less for meat and fur, and more as companions, their bonds with us should only improve and strengthen. If you want to know a bit more about how we domesticated and bred different rabbit breeds, check out a video I made over a year ago, when I was still scared to talk on the camera. Thank you all so much for watching this. I hope this quick video has helped clear up why it can sometimes take rabbits longer to bond with us and completely trust us compared to other animals.